Hey, welcome or welcome back. I'm Sarah and I talk all things money, mindset, personal finance, budgeting, getting out of that, all that good good stuff here on the channel. And today I will be organizing my spice drawer during the time I'll be with you, but I really want to talk to you about the 10 reasons why we should get out of debt before we hit menopause or perimenopause. My friends, it has been a challenging few weeks for me. And it's not at all what everybody kept telling me it was going to be. And yes, challenging would be the word. So if you're up for it, today will be the first video and the first reason that we should definitely be out of debt by the age of 50 or 51 or 53. Whenever it is that time that we really don't know, but it's around the 50 year old mark. So stick with me and I'll be telling you all about it. For me, the first and the most important reason to getting out of debt when we are at that menopause stage in our life is that I'm so grateful that I get to work for myself and I don't have to go into a workspace to work. Nobody's expecting me to be there. And I can tell you how that is important to me right now and why it's been important. Well, it's been important because I've been all over the place. I don't feel well most days. I sometimes just feel like throwing myself a pity party. And it's challenging because I'm not like that. I'm pretty easygoing. I'm always kind of, yeah, let's do this. Um... You know, I, I don't sit around uh, feeling sorry for myself. Not a lot anyway. <laughs> but that has been really, really challenging. So that I, I get to be my own boss right now. That I get to work during the times that I, I am well. And that I can rest when I'm not doing well. That I can go for a walk if I'm frustrated whatever it is for each one of us. It's really important that you get that, that space, that you get that freedom. And the word freedom, when I talk about freedom, financial freedom, the word has never meant so much to me as it means right now. Because if I needed to go out and do a job, I'm not sure I would be able to do it, at least not right now. And I'm just at the beginning stages of this new phase. And to tell you the truth, I hope this phase goes away really, really fast because it's been really challenging for me. I was not, I was expecting hot flashes and not this. <coughs> I don't think that I'm, I'm being dramatic. <laughs> it's just been challenging for me. For example, I can be very productive from 3 p.m. until 10 p.m. But that's not necessarily the time that I would be at work. So if I had a schedule, if I worked the 9 to 5, I would have to be productive from 9 to 5 during the, the hours that I would be working. As for those hot flashes, well... They haven't been an issue, not for me. I mean, I'm kind of cold all the time. So I wasn't really worried about that. And that's 
I'm not saying it's not going to happen, it probably is, but for now that's not a real issue. What I'm finding that I'm struggling more is mood swings, is not feeling well. I'm physically not well, which bothers me a lot <laughs> because I'm not someone that deals with with that kind of thing um, daily, you know, if I'm not well because my my back hurts i have a lot of issues in my back i take a pill and it goes away <laughs> and that's not the case now and there you have it my friends that's the first reason why we should all be out of that by the age we hit menopause or perimenopause because we can definitely use the freedom to make our own schedule to make our own things happen at the time we need them to happen. Thank you so much for being here with me today. 